it's pretty late. I am just, I've just put my tea in. Um, so I thought, while I'm here, might as well, but I can prop the camera up here. Well, my phone up here, which is what I film on. And I can chat to you all. Um, first time I'm gonna come on today and it is around half six in the evening. I'm just drinking some cordial in here. Um, but this mug I got, um, in our new night at Secret Santa and I love it Diane because I know Diane watches my videos so I love it and I just want to say a big thanks to her um, for it so yeah Whew, where do I start on today so we went out shopping this morning all well and good all fine but then on the way into the house I it's really icy so we had snow over the past few days and today we've not had any rain or anything but it's been really like freezing temperatures so the the snow has just turned into ice so while walking up the path today i slipped a bit on the ice i didn't like end up falling onto the floor and hurt myself like that way but i did sort of as i was you know trying to stop myself from falling i sort of twisted my ankle a bit so I came in, just took some Brufen paracetamol to sort of ease the pain because it was killing. You know what it's like, you know, there was like, look, when you twist it and it's like, ow. So I did that and then the, I'm no good with meds. They wiped me out dead easy. So I was feeling not great. Um, yeah, I, I normally find like, if I take out Brufen, it really messes with my stomach because the medication I'm on already it makes me feel a bit nauseous and it adds all together nightmare um but yeah so did that then woke up and I did like a like factory line of um Christmas cards and I was like no all the Christmas cards for the family uh, not like you know the cards you give to like your mum or dad but the cards we give out as a family to others like to my uncles and aunties and things and to neighbours so I did all them and I went round and posted them and it reminds me of a funny story um, I was talking to my sister about, um, about Christmas cards. So when we were young, me and my, sorry, when we were young, my mum saw a video or news program about like you know how we teach kids about stranger danger but it's not always stranger danger that they need to be aware of and that most kids are abducted by someone they know um so my mum was trying to teach us about just because you know someone doesn't mean you can trust someone now the names i'm gonna use here are totally fake um so my mum taught us this by giving the example of, okay, so we've got one neighbours, one of our neighbours are John and Jane Smith, and they, we know them really well. Jane used to babysit us, she used to pick my younger sister and her son up from nursery, they're in the same nursery, she used to pick them up and look after them for a few hours. You know, we know them really well. So if we were outside playing and John or Jane Smith came to the door and said, oh, your mum's in here, she wants to speak to you, but we don't know our mum's in there. We can trust them because we know them really well, but there's people who we know, but we don't know them as well, so we can't really trust them as much. And then she went, so for example, like the neighbours, Mary and Joseph, we know them, they are lovely people. You know, we say hi to them, they know our names, we know theirs, etc. We've been in their house a couple of times, but we don't know them that well. And if, you know, they came to the door and said, oh, your mum's in here, she wants to speak to you. We have to be more cautious because you don't know whether, you know, we don't know them that well to know that we'd be safe going in there, you know. And that, I, I don't understand why my mum was trying to teach us here. Um, <laughs> I, I get why she chose the neighbour she did, but it, for me and my young sister, it really scared life out of us. We thought that these neighbours, Mary and Joseph, we're um, gonna kidnap us if we got too close to the house, you know, and it, it made us, <laughs> it made us scared of them. And they are lovely people. Um, 
yeah, it's just, you know, that trying to teach us that lesson. So we used to go and do, um, Chris, like when my mum and dad would send us out to deliver the Christmas cards to everyone on our road. We live on a walkway, so, you know, we don't have to worry about cars and stuff like that. They just sent us out to go and do it. And we'd always, like, be going, no, you're doing the house, you're doing the house to, like, Mary and Joseph's house. <laughs> because we were scared to walk down the garden path. So yeah, um, I'm not scared of them anymore because I've realised it was an example of the type of relationship. So yeah, um, productive day though, even though I have spent a few hours like conked out on the couch. I just I felt really nauseous. Um, but in the shops, I did manage to get one of the last presents I need to get. I need to pick up one more gift for my mum um, and I'm going to pick that up tomorrow when I'm going into city centre but these are her favourite chocolates and I have been looking to get her them for Christmas because the only time she'll get some is like Christmas or Mother's Day or a birthday and she didn't get any for a birthday so but you know what I'll get her some for Christmas she'll really enjoy them she'll love them and um yeah every shop I've been going to they've been the little packs and because this is like you know a one-off the one time a year she gets them and wants to get her a bigger pack so finally found them and now I'm gonna open day 11 of my advent calendar I love this sticker I'm gonna like I'm being careful with this sticker because some of them I want to keep from like my journal so on this one I'll probably just cut out the stocking cut round it a bit like fussy cut it and I can stick it in the journal there. I need to start getting scissors for these. The bags are really cute and really lovely. I love the bags. But yeah, I'm trying to make them up. For some reason that middle bit is not wanting to tick. Hey, we've got it. We've got it. Charlie is like lingering at my feet because I've just took my medication and he thinks whenever I take my medication, he's getting medication since we gave him this calming tablet from the vet for um, bonfire night. So he sat there waiting for it. Let's see what this is. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Look at it. It's pinks with like speckles of blues and like even browns in it. And it is absolutely Gorgeous, I love it. So let's see what the treat is. Whoops, Harry Bow Tang Tastics. I'll have them after my tea. Um, but yeah, love that color. I love. I've been loving these colors for the um, for the advent calendar. So anyway, this clip's going on a bit long, and I've got a call coming through, so I better go. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I have got progress on the um, jumpers. So I have practically done one. I've knit the bulk of it. So I've been speaking about the rainbow jumpers and showing it off recently, but I've not actually shown what it looks like in Vlogmas. So that's the patterns there. I'm doing the jumper rather than the dress. And it is from the Sedar it's bright book um number 14 and it's got absolute loads of adorable designs on the back and they're for kids age three to seven um i'm doing a four-year-old and a five-year-old size so what do i have done so previously i've already had the back and the front done and these are both the four-year-old size the back and the front i believe they should be yeah, they look like they match. They look like they're even Stevens in length. Um, when I say not, they'll definitely be okay. So yeah, I've done the front and the back. That's the rainbow design on the front. Um, and I will be doing when I finish each item. But I'm gonna that I'm finishing through Vlogmas before I wrap them up because the majority of things I'm working on are gifts. Um, all but my advent knitting the gifts. Uh, the, <laughs> I'm gonna film a clip before I wrap them up talking about the pattern, the yarn, the hook or needle, etc. And I will be doing a crochet catch up after Vlogmas of all the things I've finished in between, you know, this and the last Vlogmas and that. Um, between the, you know, 
the last crochet catch up in November and the vlogmas, what I've done during vlogmas. Um, so I have finished the sleeves. I've got both of them done. This light is not doing them any good justice. That's a purple in there, not a brownie colour. They really look cute. I really like them. Um, and they're working up great. So what I need to do is I need to knit the neckband, which once I've cast it on, it's like about four fibers, I believe, for the size I'm doing. Um, and then just sew them up. So fingers crossed, should be able to get it done pretty sharpish. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been working on today. I have also um, been planning out my crafting because I normally plan it out onto what I'm working on each day um, and I literally just have like a little notes, um, one of the notes in the notes app on my phone. Um, it just comes in the phone I stand. I think every phone has, like smartphone has a notes app. But anyway, what I do is I just write the days down and what I'm going to work on it. And normally I plan it in advance to make sure I'm working on everything throughout the week and as much like you know what do i need to prioritize working on more or not and then also so the project fits with what i'm doing yeah because over the past few weeks i feel like i've start like i feel like the beginning of vlogmas was really good on making sure everything got done but um over the past week or so i've just been really like laxed in what i'm getting done and um, yeah i just want to get back on top of things so um Basically, yeah, I've created like the thing you. So on Monday, working on the advent knitting because I normally have therapy sessions on Monday, so that's portable. It's easy for me to take with me. And yeah, Tuesday I am working on the gecko. Wednesdays, this is last Wednesday. I'm going to be working before I before we break up for the holidays. But I will be taking the advent knit for that because it's just portable and easy to take with me. Thursday is the jumper. Friday is the blanket. Saturday the gecko and Sunday the jumpers again. So each project has got two days a week except for the blankets. But then I feel like I'm really on task with the blankets. The advent knittings I don't mind once I come home. If I then prioritise working on something that I am... I feel like I need to get a bit more work on because I'm falling behind on oh, my goals of getting them done for Christmas. So, yeah, that's over at the moment. So, yeah, that's what the day's been. I've not knitted as much as I wanted. I was hoping to have the neckband done today, but I got sidetracked for a Christmas gift. I am um, combining some photos together for a relative. I don't know whether that switched off because my phone, it just said my phone's got low battery. But anyway, I'm going to buy photos, um, you know, to make it look like these two pictures are actually one picture, you know, and things like that. So I'm working on it, but one of the pic one of the two pictures is old. So I've been having to, like, improve the quality on it and take away scan lines and things like that. So I've been spending a lot of time working on that. So that took a lot of time. Anyway, I don't want this video to be too long and I don't want to keep rambling on. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you all staying safe and taking care. And I will speak to you all tomorrow for day 13 of Vlogmas. Take care. Bye. <laughs>